From falling flat on your face during a lesson to ripping your pants, today we're talking all things teacher fails on Teachers Off Duty Podcast. Tune in. Welcome back to another episode of Teachers Off Duty Podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. So I know that I'm not the only one in this room that has fallen flat on my face during a lesson, during my teaching. It's common to have lots of teacher fails. And to talk about this with us today, we have an amazing guest with us, Megan Mayer, also known as the crazy creative teacher on TikTok and all social media. Yeah. Tell us about yourself. Yeah, so I'm Megan Mayer. I'm a teacher in Florida, Sarasota County. I've been teaching for eight years. Very excited to be here. Um, started on TikTok like just before the pandemic, so I'm almost to my three-year anniversary. Yeah. 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 Very exciting to meet you guys, because. I feel like we've been following each other since like the very beginning. Oh, yeah. I get all um, my tips from you. Yeah. So I'm on um, TikTok, Instagram, kind of YouTube, Facebook, and I have an Etsy shop. So Ooh, oh, we're kind of everything. And I'm a mom and a wife. So I follow like, like okay, so like I watch your videos and like I'm always looking at your lanyards because you have the cutest freaking yeah, lanyards. <laughs> oh, my, you have like one for every day of the I week, yeah. every every holiday. Yeah. Do, I mean, how many do you think you have? 25? Oh my gosh. Maybe? Yeah. That's, I want to like, I need to collection. learn how to make them myself because it would save me a you lot of money. You could do that. But I have Because you're like, like the queen of teacher tip like Tuesdays. Support, yeah, that's true. I like to support like other Etsy shops and like other teachers that make lanyards. I respect so, that. Yeah, respect it kind of works out. What does your Etsy that. shop make? So I make like magnets for the whiteboard, um, like okay. different signs. It's all like things that I was making from my own classroom. I would share on TikTok yeah, yeah. and then everyone was like, I would buy that. So I started an Etsy shop and it's yeah. usually closed during the school year. But this year I've found a little bit of time. Wiggle room. And, yeah, I've kind of like managed my time a little bit better. So I like I it. That. And I heard that you're, you're queen of teacher tip Tuesday. Yes. Do you have any teacher tips when it comes to how to not fail as a teacher? I love your alliteration there. Yeah. Teacher tip. And your, and your enunciation. Yes. I speak so goodly. That's why I do that. <laughs> I agree. I speak gooder than all of you in here. Good the goodest. So I speak gooder. the goodest. Yes. My, yeah. my six-year-old Great. daughter today told me that um, I'm the gooderest teacher that there is. And that wow. I was going to do so awesome on this today. Oh. So she was the right. gooderest. She was. <laughs> She's only six. Well, today we are talking about all of our worst moments in education because yeah. it is so so common that we just fall flat on our faces. And I know I keep using that phrase, but that's literally how it happens. I remember- Metaphorically and literally. Right, right, right. right. I have, honestly. Okay, so one time I was, so I teach elementary school. So like they all come up to the carpet to sit and listen to read aloud. So I was like, all right guys, go sit up at the carpet. And I sit down in my chair and read the book. Well, they were all crowded around my chair and I tried to like step over them. And I tripped over my easel and like, grabbed the easel for dear life so I wouldn't squash the child laying on the floor oh, yeah. right next to me. But yeah, I have literally fallen on my face. She is not beauty. She is not grace. She is falling over on top of her kids. I am flaw. It's, it's funny that they, they say that like most injuries for like a, a huge like common household one is like people trying to just trip over their pets. Yeah. I, I have to say, I, I would assume teachers is like not tripping over a child who's a like, crawling on the floor. Yes. Or backpacks mm -hmm. or whatever oh, my gosh. is like... Flexible seating is the worst for that because like I because I do the flexible seating. And so like when kids work with partners or whatever, they're like laying all over yeah. the carpet. Mm -hmm. So I will literally announce when I'm about to walk through children's legs and I will be like, nobody move. Yeah, right. And I, you're like the <laughs> waitress so, behind like, you. Yeah, it's like walking through a minefield and yeah. I'm like tiptoeing around them. And then as I say, nobody move. One kid kicks their leg up and like knees me in the shin. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I I need some advice. I love about that. teachers and all of our fails that we have. And we have, we have, you know, Teacher Tip Tuesday and we have, you know, uh, so you're going to help us with this, yeah? Okay. All right, we need those. So <laughs> and I have plenty of fails of my own. I, so I think we all, I, I don't think you teach well enough if you're not failing at some point during no. it. Um, so we have someone right in. Uh, they said, Dear Tell, teaching this year has been hectic and overwhelming, as I'm sure you know. I've been late to work, forgot about staff meetings, and multiple times I've got, I've sent the wrong emails to the wrong parents. 
My biggest fail may be, though, I accidentally threw away some student assessments and they cannot be replicated. Oof. How do I tell my principal did what I, I did? Did I send you this email? <laughs> I actually got it from you. <laughs> that's why That's why we invited you on. Um, Sounds then, like my school year. Yeah. Except the assessment part, but it's I mean, like every, pretty like close. On every, like if, oh, oh yeah. I forgot. The, yeah. I think my advice would be um, you don't tell your principal you threw them away. What you do instead um, is you break the window into your classroom <laughs> and make it look like yes. a robbery. Genius. Or, yes. no, no, yeah. no. Get that, extra bonus points and say that your car was robbed because you were oh, taking them home over the weekend yeah. to go through them yeah. Wait, to plan unless, your interventions. Unless you weren't allowed to take oh, them that's home. that's true. If they were state right. assessments. Okay, so if you were allowed to take them home, put them in your car, yeah. Yeah. quotes, yeah. and it was broken into and someone stole the assessment. Correct. If you weren't allowed to take them home, they were in your classroom, someone broke in in the middle of the night yeah. and took them out of your classroom. They only took that. Yes. <laughs> the, you have to, you have to <laughs> let them take something else, like maybe like a book or like the one that I you mean, don't but like. we're teachers. Or, we don't drive that right. nice of cars. Right. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, no. Maybe they took your school laptop so you can't do lesson plans. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. You know here, listen, yes. I'm not, I'm not going to sit there and tell you how to do your job. But I really think what you should do is just that be lie. honest. I think you just lie. Um, no. Gaslight, <laughs> get Keith, and girl boss your way out of this situation. Yeah. Girl boss <laughs> <laughs> like, what assessment? Although it's an assessment. I know for me doing pre-K assessments, it's an hour per kid. That's a lot of time to say I messed up. But I think holding it off is time that your principal might be willing to work with you to give you the time to redo those assessments. Yeah. Um, it's just hard because I, it's sticky because then some of the kids Sometimes might know the answers. Owning up to it is the hardest part. It but really like, is. It's, the, it, it's exactly what we tell our, our students. We're Absolutely. like, I will be less mad if you tell me the truth now versus mm. if I have to find it out later. That is literally what I'm teaching both of my daughters. My husband and I is really trying to instill that in them that – we will not be mad as long as you tell the truth. It's only when you lie that we're going oh, to yeah. be mad. That's and the they're, they're, they're getting it. I've uh, straight up given students the wrong standardized test. So <laughs> I know how this happened. The whole time. The whole yeah, straight up. Yeah. Oh, so, gosh. Uh, it, was, it wasn't the entire class, but it, it was. So let me set the scene. So in South Dakota, we've got our. We got, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Now we are in South Dakota. Funny. So uh, we've got two big state assessments that we give and a kid. Or I think it was, it was like three kids. They were gone when we gave the initial assessment. So they're like, hey, they got to retake the test. So I'm like, all right. So they come into my classroom and there's three kids. And I was like, all right, the test is now active and it's virtual. And you have like probably 50 tests you can pick from because it's all the K mm -hmm. through 12 exams. And they were probably an hour into the exam. And I looked down and I'm like, Oh, I just totally gave them the wrong exam. Oh, no. I totally gave it to them. And I oh, just gosh. sat back and I was like, okay, do I stop this train in its tracks or just let it ride? And I chose to let it ride. And afterwards I, I talked to the counselor. I said, hey, um, I'm pretty sure I gave them the wrong test. What do we do? And she kind of laughed. She goes, well, you're not the first one to do that. Here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to go find them and tell them that you gave them the wrong yeah. test and they'll be so mad at you. <laughs> and she was very correct in that they were going to be mad at me. Yeah. So that was a huge fail. That did not work out well. Do you have well. testing scripts in South Dakota? Like, does the state give you a script? Yeah, for a certain test. Okay. Yeah, one of them we have a script and... What I don't was, like was this it. one the state test or was it a different one? It, well, so they're, they're both state tests. But one oh, only okay. has a script. Yeah, went one has script. a script. Yeah, I went off. I went completely rogue. Okay. It did not go well. I almost did that with the testing that we just did. Florida tests three times a year now. Oh, really? mm -hmm. And one of the first things that we did, you know, you have the script and I'm like, okay, we're going to do, you know, math session one. And they're like, no, this is English session two or whatever. And I realized that I had done the wrong Wait, thing. So, so the script kind of saved you. You do state <laughs> testing three times a year? Yeah, that was Florida's way of having less testing. Oh. What? Wait, what was it before? Five, four? So before, um, it was just one at the oh. end of the year, but mm. it was for like, I don't know, certain grades would do science, certain would do civics. And then you have like reading, but then reading would also do an essay. And then you had math. And then we also had like, I ready would do a diagnostic. Mm. And they came up with the idea that we would test three different times a year, kind of like a progress monitoring, but yeah. it's state testing. Cause we, I mean, we do the testing yeah. three times a year, but it's like, <laughs> it's like our district. Like not, it's like, it's state required to like progress monitor test, but like, it's not the state test. No, you this know? is, this is uh, I think they call it the best. The testing. best test? Or fast test? No, our standards are the best. Ah. Our testing is called fast. 
Nice. So, nice. But it's not Nothing like acronyms <laughs> yeah. in education. Yeah. One of my most <laughs> one of my most scarring teacher fails was when I had my zipper down and I was teaching. Oh. And of course as a middle school teacher, as our as our producers are laughing at me, <laughs> we uh and with middle schoolers, you, there's no coming back from mm-hmm. that. So this was actually last year. And I was getting ready to like get my lesson all set up in the morning and I went to the bathroom and then came back into class and yeah. all day long, kids were laughing and Nobody giggling. Nobody told you? Nobody told That's me. So mean. here's how this works. So I went to the bathroom, came came back into the classroom, got everything ready. And all day, whenever I was at the front of the room, kids would be laughing and giggling. I'm like, man, these kids are squirrely today. This is kind of annoying. And then as the day man, went on- these kids are squirrely today. Yeah, <laughs> as the day went on, they kept doing that. And I kept thinking to myself, what is going on? This something's wrong. And then eventually it was after lunch where I'm giving a lesson and the kids are still laughing. And one of the girls, she she puts her hand up. I go, yeah, what's up? She goes, Danny, bring your zippers down. And I look down and my zipper's definitely down. And then I was thinking about like, when was the last time I went to the bathroom? And it was in the morning. And I realized I went the entire morning with my zipper down. And it was so embarrassing. I felt so like... Being picked on by a group of twelve years olds about your zipper different. being down mm-hmm. hurts. Like I, I, I thought that I was a strong mean. person. Yeah. No, they they broke Pure me down. Hate. I went, Pure hate. I went the whole day. I'll do you one better. So it, like on, like I don't have a dress code at my school. We've talked yeah. about this before. But like, I will wear leggings and like a long, like kind of a longer shirt or whatever. And the one day I was like rushing because I didn't. My alarm didn't go off or whatever, which is another teacher fail in and of itself. <laughs> but. <laughs> I was rushing to get dressed and run out the door in time and I get to school and my like prep period is like almost directly after the kids arrive. It's like 9.15 or something. And I go to use the restroom and we have a full length mirror in our teacher bathroom. So I walk in and I'm looking and I'm like, what's that weird line on the side of my leggings? And like I have a pair of leggings that has like the stitching that like is like lifted a little bit. And I, I feel like around. I know where you're going with this. I had the same thing happen yes. to me, I think. I had my leggings completely inside out. Nice. Oh, no. That oh, wasn't no. no, I had my <laughs> leggings completely inside out and backwards. Oh, oh the, no. Like the, up until that point in the morning. And I was like, wow, I, I don't know how this even happened. So like I had to just flip them but around the, real that, quick. No nice. one told you. Like, I, no I, no I one know. told you. Notice, like, that Be a friend. Right. I, well, and I know you went through, you like w- had to walk past a colleague or something at some right. point <laughs> and they had to been like, oh, sister girlfriend has her pants in. I feel like every, every, <laughs> something about teaching, everyone has a wardrobe malfunction. Yes. Have you had one? So I don't mean to like one up you. I thought where your story Go for was it. going one up was me, mine. Please. So this was my first year in the classroom and same thing. Like, you know, at the time I had two kids both yeah. under the age of like four and so mornings are really hectic and um, it's like midday and all of a sudden like I look down <laughs> and there's a pair of my underwear. Oh, nice. <laughs> Stuck oh, in the like Coming oh, out classic. my pants. And I don't know how long that was there. I don't know who saw it, but I quickly like (laughs) grabbed it. And then I was worried like, will they search my bag or something? Like, will someone know that like this pair of underwear is in my bag? Like I was really nervous. That just happened to, uh, was it Miss Chang gifted? She literally just posted a video about it that happened to her like last week. She was doing her laundry and she put like the static yeah. clung uh-huh. to her clothes. They like get stuck. Yeah. I feel like the, the amount of times I've like been like, you know, listen, if I'm wearing to school, I'm, I'm either throwing it on the floor, I change as soon as I get home. But sometimes I'm like, I'll be in class and I'll be like, whole sock. Like, just, like, <laughs> like, 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 like the, I was, uh, I, I know I've, I, one of my most humiliating fails ever. I can't remember if it was Christmas, uh, like a program we did or graduation but what I do remember is thinking that we could fit the entire classroom and and not do it in the gym. Could not do that because <laughs> it was just like I underestimated how many people would want to come to this with, mm. you know, 20 students. So it was filled, super hot in there. And I remember coming in and saying, you know, hey, you know, we're doing we're going to do this. The kids are getting ready for the program. And there was like this one parent who I like wanted to impress. Right. And so I had usually I have a stack of clothes in my car at, at any time. And I, I, I didn't. I cleaned it out because we were going to go have margaritas after school with me and some of the teachers. So all I had was my gym clothes I had that day. And so I went. Um, I was like, it's warm in here. I'm going to come bring one of the gallons of, of the water jugs and put in the water cooler because it's empty so they can have refreshment because it's so mm-hmm. hot. 
Not so they could see your muscles or anything. Would never. It, <laughs> I could never, you know. Um, and I and I'm walking over there, and I have the jug there. I'm like, oh no, me walking over, and it's and it's there, and I don't know if it's because it was like some sick joke, but the thing that holds the water in pops off. <gasps> And if you know anything about those, they gug 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 violently shaking me. Wait, how does it go? A gug 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 and it's a very distinct a gug gug. Yes. <laughs> water is all over me. I don't know what to do because I can't like put it down this way. If I pull it this way, it's just water gets everywhere, and so I'm soaked with water. One of the dads, not the cute one, <laughs> not moves the cute in and helps me out. Right? Not and you. So, not, I'm like, no, that one. So I'm like, what do I do? Because this is like, I know parents are going pictures and stuff yeah. like that. So I had to go to my car. I'm like, oh, it's okay. I have so much clothes in there. None. So I had to put smelly gym clothes. And for the rest of them, I'm just like walking in there. I'm like, everyone saw this. And the humiliating thing of like going back and having to mop it. I'll, Humbled. I'll never, <laughs> I'll never forget when I tore my pants walking into school. <laughs> that, was, that was the worst experience ever, dude. That was awful. So I think I, I've talked about it before, but it was when I was student teaching and I was walking into school and a student taps me on, on, the, on the back and is like, hey, there's... Something on the back of your pants. And I was like, oh, what's, what's going on? I, I sit in something and I completely tore my pants right off the butt. <laughs> and I was just, I, I didn't know what to do. I was just stuck. And then I thought I, I had a pair of pants in my in my car. So I go into my car and I drive to the corner of the parking lot. And of course, in Fargo, North Dakota, you got a bunch of bunch of big pickups that are driving around. Yeah. So a student decides to come park right next to me, his giant pickup, so he can look into my window where I'm sitting. So I couldn't change my pants because that'd be weird. And you're like, get out. Yeah, it was, that <laughs> was going home. That was awful. Uh, that was. You don't have good luck with pants. No, no you don't. No. But no. I'm amazed at how many teachers have actually torn their pants while teaching. That's like, a, you've done it. I feel like we that's, were talking just about a, that. that's yeah. a rite of passage. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. Everyone has to tear every their pants. Every teacher has yeah. to tear their pants. Every teacher has to tear their pants. I feel like every teacher has to be humbled by their students by being like, actually, you taught us something else or you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever like I taught Listen, ever been like, okay, oh, so this yeah. happened to me this week. Everyone has heard of new math, right? How yeah. like no. the, the new math, like, I mean, like the, I guess the colloquial way of yeah, saying yeah. new math is like how we're teaching math now and like common core. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, oh. how we're teaching common core. So, so like new math. New yeah. math. The curriculum that we use, and this kind of goes two different ways. So I had... Um, a lesson this week where I was teaching how to multiply fractions times mixed numbers. And they have this new strategy where you draw like an array. So you use like the dimensions of the, like the rectangle is like the fraction times the mixed number and make like a rectangle out of it. And when you use a mixed number, like you have to have more than one unit, like cause the fraction's part mm -hmm. of a unit. And I like, was able to help them, sh like, show them how to draw the actual rectangle. But then, like, the the one kid was like, okay, I drew my dimensions, now what? And I was like, okay, now, you know, close in your rectangle and shade in the box. And he's like, okay, now what? How do I find the answer? And I sat there and looked at him and I was like, <laughs> well, you have to count the shaded blocks. <laughs> and he's like, do, 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 18. And I'm like, okay. And figure out the denominator. And I walked away because I was like, <laughs> I, don't I don't know. So I'm like, I'm going to go look at my book because I have no idea what to tell you right now. <laughs> but you kind of just have to play it off. Like, yeah. you, like you're like, just you got to just give it a try. Like, just you, read you're the question like, again. Try reading it again. Exactly. Like Think you don't know slowly. the answer, but you you can figure it out. Mm -hmm. like, Raise your hand if you need me again. I'm just going to go to my desk real quick. And Put Google on. the answer. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, so it we're reminds gonna... me of like, have you seen The Incredibles where the dad's freaking out about math? And he's like, yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh -huh. and it's, okay, so it was Groundhog Day this week. <laughs> so we're doing a school unit on weather. I told the kids earlier um, in, in, you know, weeks prior that meteorologists are who can tell us what's happening with the weather mm -hmm. and if you want to do it as a profession as a job you have to go to school you know and study it in college and um so then it's groundhog's day most bizarre day ever and i'm telling the the kids <laughs> that's, that's such a big deal it's, in a country it's, it's, it's also day. like yes. what are we doing like a little, <laughs> little phil comes out in a top hat and tells us what you know what it's gonna be six more weeks like, it's weird yeah it is weird and so we're watching it and i'm and i'm telling the kids you know then phil comes out and if he sees the shadow it's this if he doesn't it's this and they were like wait did is phil a meteorologist i said no <laughs> it's what i thought only meteorologists could tell the weather i'm like okay that's fair. Um, actually, you have to be either a meteorologist or you have to be a groundhog. And <laughs> this sense. child, un just completely serious, was like, "I, I want to tell the weather, you know." 
And the connection goes, yeah, but you're not very good at school. Oh, no. And so the kid was just like, yeah. I like how we both laugh. Like, uh, yeah. She's like, oh. Like, just like, I did feel, I felt bad because the, the kid accepts it. Yeah, I am. Like, And, and then goes, um, but I'll grow up to be a beaver. <laughs> so one, I'm not going to correct him on no. that it's actually a groundhog. <laughs> And the class just accepts it. Everyone's like, yeah, that makes sense that Bobby would grow up to be a beaver, beaver. Yeah. because he isn't going to go to school after this. And I was like, I can't crush his dream. No. Oh so I just nod my head. I'm like, there's going to be like 19 five-year-olds that go out into the world. One of them's going to be president or a surgeon or something like that. And these kids now think you can metamorphose yeah. <laughs> into a, a my, beaver. My daughter, when she, my oldest daughter, when she was three, was really obsessed with like fire trucks and firefighters. And she had a little costume. He's obsessed and, with firefighters. <laughs> Hers was for a different reason. <laughs> and so she's telling me one day, you know, what she wants to be when she's older. And she goes, I can be a fire truck. I'm like, okay, you can you can be a fire truck. Okay. A transformer. Yeah, sure. There you go. Hey, okay. now I love she wants that. to dream be a your vet. dream. Now it's to be a she vet. She wants to be an emergency Aww, vet. She that's loves sweet. animals. I love that. She literally watches like the saddest YouTube videos about Aww. animals and will just come to me like crying. Sarah McLaughlin's so in the background. Yes. <laughs> the angels. Yes. I also wanted to be a vet until I found out you had to like do surgery on animals. Yeah. I was like, I just want to play with the animals all day. That's what vets <laughs> do. They call that a dog sitter. <laughs> that's what that is. I did that. It's not a pretty job. Not a pretty job. No, I worked at like a dog, uh, like it was called Come Stay and Play Pet Resort. And it was like a dog, like kennel. And people would get like come bring their dogs when they were on vacation. And like, yeah, you get to come play with dogs, but you also have to clean up after them. And it's not pretty when dogs Oof. are away from their homes. Oof. Nah. Yikes. So I'll stick to my teacher fails. Yeah. <laughs> you know? They get like, nervous tummies. Yeah, so yeah. like when we were talking about teacher fails and like teacher tip Tuesday, one of the, the tips is always, like, obviously, we're supposed to be prepared, right? And, right. like, have lesson plans. We always have lesson plans, yeah. right? So a couple of years ago, I was doing a lesson. I just kind of, like, needed a filler because time was yeah. just going by too quick. So I mm -hmm. bought one of those, like, interactive notebooks, you know, graphic organizer things yeah. off of, yeah. like, Teachers Pay Teachers. And printed it out, all excited. You know, it's a color type thing. And you make a pie or something. I don't remember. And I'm really not like reading the directions all that clearly. So we're probably 75% of the way done. I'm like, this isn't looking like how it's supposed to look. And I had a, I taught like a block class. So I had the same kids for almost like three hours because mm -hmm. I had them for like our first period and then reading and then LA. Mm -hmm. So they're really great kids, but they get to a point where like, they're just done. So I realized I did it wrong. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, you guys, I'm really sorry. Like. I did this completely wrong and I'm trying to, you know, be like, teachers make mistakes too. My class went feral. Like, <laughs> ripping the paper, like, throwing the crayons. Like, you just the wasted oh, no. our time. Oh my gosh. Oh, you no. failed us. Completely nuts. Oh no. Oh, I, I did literally that. had to bribe them with chips. I'm like, listen, just get this done. Chips Here's will two always, chips. always win. So always. for the rest of the year, we couldn't do anything without having chips. Oh mm -hmm. man. So. I failed so many times as a teacher by not previewing the video that I'm going to show mm. before mm -hmm. I uh, have bombed <laughs> because too. of it and you know like you would think by now I would figure out like hey watch the video before you do it I've gotten better because of the last two fails that I've had so there was one time where I needed like you said a filler I needed I needed like 10 to 15 minutes it's always this freaking filler oh it's yes. the filler I needed 10 to 15 minutes and we're talking about ecosystems and I'm like oh I'm gonna show this little clip of planet earth and we're gonna relate it to ecosystems little did I know the clip that I was showing is a scene in planet earth where all of these walruses are literally jumping off a cliff <gasps> I'm, I am completely what? serious. They are literally jumping off a oh, cliff. No, Why? because they're they're talking about like habitat loss and things. Okay. And th they commit suicide. Yeah, like, well, it's crazy. Yeah, and it's you just it's traumatized the whole group I of seventh did. graders. So I, I'm at my desk and I I pull the video up. Like I'm gonna watch this about ecosystems and whatnot. And I. And I, I pulled up the video and I was looking on one of my other screens and I was doing emails and I, I start hearing the kids like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I look and up. they're so dramatic. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's these walruses oh that are jumping gosh. off the edge of this cliff. <laughs> and so I quickly exit out of the video and I just was thinking to myself, okay, this is it. This is how I lose my job by showing a mass suicide <laughs> yeah. of walruses. Oh, those poor babies. So, it's not funny, but like walruses. That's oh, something that would happen. Baby. Oh teacher. my gosh. It, it was awful. And then, the other fail that I had was when I didn't preview the birthing video when I was teaching health. Oh, God. And I Gabe. legit 
passed out because I didn't know what the video was going to be. Oh, yeah, like, you I did thought, tell us that. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be like, oh, kind of fluff, no. like whatever. No. Oh, she gave no. birth. Like, you're going to see it from like not a graphic point of view. A side perspective. Yeah, yeah. no, not, it was like full on. A cartoon, on. Like, like, no. like you see on like sitcoms. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah no, no. Yeah, no, I, uh, I didn't preview it. And when she gave birth, I was like, oh. And then the placenta <laughs> came out. Yeah. And the next thing I know is Jimmy standing over me, poking me, said, hey, Mr. Dameron, you okay? I, it was both those times I was like, I'm an idiot. Why don't I just look at the video before I do it? She okay. gave birth, but you died. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was the one who went through trauma. Full not circle her. moment. Full, full life I cycle. needed the support. <laughs> okay, I also failed with the video once. So when I taught second grade, my second grade team and I for Thanksgiving would do like a Thanksgiving dinner for the for the whole grade level. So we would bring in like turkey and mashed potatoes and we'd have like a little buffet and then they would go sit in the room and we would play like the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving video. And you couldn't find it anywhere on the internet for whatever reason that day. And I found it somewhere on YouTube and it was like, it seemed like it was the right length. Yeah, yeah. Like, again, I didn't preview the video because I'm like, it's Charlie Brown it's Thanksgiving. Like, I'll go with my gut, looks yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> so we're about midway through the video and then like, I don't know, Charlie Brown says something like, because I, and then it cuts to like the John oh, no. Cena music. <laughs> And it was like Stop. John Cena, <laughs> and it's like bah, 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 how far yeah. into the how far into the movie was it? Like halfway. <laughs> and no, and my my kids just started dying, <laughs> and I my like it was myself and one of the other teachers were standing in the room, and I'm cackling because I'm like only that would happen to me. Like I would only remix. get the John Cena Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know what it is about videos. Uh, I will always always. Always preview the video because, like, especially with, pre now. Especially with the pre-K. <laughs> <laughs> really in the hard way. Well, and YouTube is like you don't know what. Like, even if it's a YouTube kit, mm -hmm. like it'll be like what the ad, the will ad pop up. Yes. by some of it's so I know what's in the book. But if other teachers are, oh, I read this, and I'll, you know, I I, I trust the people I work mm -hmm. with. But I usually read the book because I'm dyslexic. I don't want to like trip up and and stutter through it. And I didn't do it this time. And every teacher's like, this is amazing. It's I don't know if you've read the book, The Day You Begin. Yeah. Un glued halfway through sobbing Aww. snot coming down it was such a great book and it i was is. like i'm sorry i'm going through the book and the kids are just like he is unhinged He's like unwell. i'm surprised someone didn't like knock yeah. on the door to leave the classroom to go get an adult like your, uh, your students were going to give you a pre-k pause until oh, they, they, did. Chill out. they did they're like because it's not a sad book yeah. it's a yeah. very good book but i'm just like as an adult oh, just man. crying through it i'm like you got tell you got to read the book beforehand <laughs> because this is not a cute moment. Okay, so one other teacher fail that I can't stand. I want to I want to like stare directly into the camera and talk to whoever is the creator of the 5th grade curriculum in Bridges Mathematics. <laughs> I want to have a conversation with you and so does the rest of the teacher Bridges 5th grade Facebook page. I don't know if they know how 5th graders are, but like 5th graders are the most immature 100% group of people that exist and I don't know why Bridges chose to put every inappropriate reference in their <laughs> curriculum. Day one, not oh, even God. joking. Day one, unit one, it's about volume, okay? okay. The subject matter and the real world scenario they give yeah. is Brad's balls. <laughs> Brad wants a baseball company and he's going to package his balls into boxes that are one by one it cubic, like a video I would right. cubic units. <laughs> we need to figure out how to pack it. And I'm dead. I'm not even cutting it off. They never once say Brad's baseballs. Brad's After the first balls. time. They never. say it the first time and that's I it. Make it. To be inclusive. I make it Brad's baseballs. Yeah. Oh, they, they never say baseballs no, ever, ever. They say Brad's balls. <laughs> what color? Yeah. <laughs> and then that's they... But then in the unit we're teaching now, like, I just taught this lesson literally yesterday. We're teaching about like grouping division problems versus a sharing division problem. And they give like two examples. One is like, Jeff made 12 cookies. He wants to share the 12 cookies equally among his four cousins. How many cookies will each cousin get? That's a sharing problem. Right. The example of the grouping problem they give. Jeff makes 12 cookies. Jeff wants to package the cookies into sacks of four. <laughs> How many sacks Wait. will he need? And I'm like, 
I don't I'm changing that to bags. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't want a cookie that came from a sack anyway. Yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> I'm like, why? Think about this. You're giving this to 10 and 11 year olds that will laugh about literally everything anything. Everything. Well, and, and it's always like to Brett's balls question. The answer is always, <laughs> it's always Brett has 69, <laughs> 69 balls. It's always no. Brett has 60. When, whenever I'm faced with a 69 answer I always tell the kids okay you're gonna go to the page like yep. it's always p- turn page 69 I'm like all right go one past 68 or 70 or, minus or one 70 minus one <laughs> because I think it's around page 70 okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. you ever take one yeah <laughs> and you always have the kids who are like I see what you did there uh-huh. but even the kids like yesterday because I had to ask them like because you put the problem on on the poster and you're like it was like okay our equation is 12 divided by four equals three I'm like, what does the 12, 4, and the 3 stand for? And like the 4 or the 3 was like, oh, it stands for the number of sacks that you need. (laughs) And so like the kid who was answering the question, like he knew that that's what it stood for. And bless his heart, he was trying so hard to be like appropriate. Because I had looked at, you know, how you have to give the death glare to Uh a couple of kids that are like, I'm like, stop it right now. (laughs) And like he looks at me and goes, I'm like, what does the 3 stand for? He goes, huh. The no, number of sacks. <laughs> I was like, yes, the number of sacks. Like way, <laughs> but like, you have to acknowledge it, Bridges. What are you doing? <laughs> you teach middle school in Florida. Yeah. Is is there any like giant fails in, within the system of just like, oh my gosh, do I have to say this in front of kids? All the time. And especially like in middle school, everything yeah. is dirty. I remember. Yeah. <sighs> doesn't matter what it is. I remember this one. Um one time we so I teach reading so yeah. we can read about like whatever so yeah. um, our book has you know science stuff social studies whatever yeah. so it's the very first unit is about like um, the life cycle yeah. and organisms okay yes. so of course uh, you know you know where I'm going with that so the kid <laughs> keeps mispronouncing the word in like our no. small group no. oh, but I, I, I don't think he was doing it on purpose no. I really no, don't he probably I, wasn't I really don't no and finally he's like well, what's the difference? Because I keep correcting him. Well, another kid in the class goes, well, to some people, there's a big difference. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm my just like, I God. lost it. Oh. I'm like trying to have that serious teacher face, but mm-hmm. I'm like, nope, nope. I just I, need to walk away to for better. a second. I have to be better. <laughs> I have to be better. <laughs> Middle schoolers have a very yes. hard time differentiating yes. dif- differentiating organisms and orgasms yeah. they have a very hard <laughs> See, time I giggle when you say it i couldn't even yeah. know very I, hard time I with did it. that though okay so like we i was like literally saying like inter intersect because mm-hmm. we were do- we were talking about like coordinate grids and i was like okay where do the lines intersects and i said <laughs> totally <laughs> and different I was, like, word and i just i kept going right over it and i was like intersect and then i kept like i just kept going i didn't address it and a couple of the kids were like <laughs> 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 and i was like i know it was funny don't laugh. <laughs> We're just going to continue. What well, do you forward. do? Like root, root words and prefixes? You yes. Dict. And let me. Yeah. Dict is the best. I literally dict. skipped dict. it on purpose. I, and I know dict. I shouldn't have. Yeah. yeah like dictionary. D-I-T. Oh, D-I-C-T. I was like. What? That was literally we I were doing. I did my T right. Yeah. We were doing the Greek and Latin roots right before Christmas break. And it was like, there were, I don't know, like blah, 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 blah. And the last one that was going to land on the day before Christmas break was dick. Yeah. And I was like, I am not <laughs> teaching that. The day before Christmas break, those children will be feral. I'm like, I, not I, happening. I had a Spanish teacher who <laughs> she would, there was a, uh, a website we'd always go to spanishdict.com <laughs> and she no. every time she would talk about it, she goes okay go to spanishdict.com <laughs> and, and she she knew what would come up and and she was chipping teeth yeah. 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 she knew and she was like and at the beginning of the year she goes i always say this at the beginning of the year do not type in the what else it sounds like into the school oh, computers don't, don't let not go well or autofill i was like yeah. that's hilarious or like, okay so like the book i was reading this week like we read a lot of books like around black history month and one yeah. of the like in the author's note i was reading at the back of the book to the kids the one person's name was dick like that because you yeah. know richard like that's my grandpa's name yeah and i was like no way in hell am i saying that <laughs> no. i literally changed it. i was yeah. like richard blah blah blah. i don't like yeah. i don't even i don't even know if his name is actually richard it i'm could just changing it to richard <laughs> yeah. because i'm not saying that in, in front of my group of 10 year olds i'm just mm-hmm. not <laughs> can you <laughs> like, just imagine that being like 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 because i think of like you know dick cheney and i'm like yeah was his name dick cheney or was it richard cheney I don't, you know. Know. I don't know. I don't know. I know my grandpa's is Richard, but I, everyone calls him. I would him, probably go by yeah. Richard. You know, like, I'm not. <laughs> like me thinks <laughs> if I got to choose. <laughs> Some of the things that we think about that students do that don't make sense are their 
reactions to some things that they read. Lauren, what are other things that your students do that just don't make sense? I'm so glad you asked. So we had some more people sending in some things that never make sense. (laughs) Um, So when they say they didn't do something, when I literally just witnessed them do that thing with my own eyes. The gaslighting. The gaslighting. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. I don't understand it. Like, I like, do they think that they can pull it over on us? Mm-hmm. Because, like, <laughs> because sometimes, yes. Because I'm I like, stare maybe them I down. am wrong. And then, but then know, they get you into arguing yourself. with yes. them. And you're like, I just witnessed with my own eye sockets that right. you threw that on the floor. My right. eyeballs did not move. Tell me what I saw. Some it wasn't of our what students I saw. are going to be amazing lawyers. Yes, oh my they God. Were amazing. Oh, yes, that's so when good. you say that smoke detector. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a camera. Do you want me to check it? <laughs> <laughs> always, always like the camera. There is yes. no camera yeah, in a classroom, none. but none. I'm gonna pretend there is. <laughs> going to the bath, going to the bathroom, and coming back thirty minutes later. It's always interesting because with middle schoolers their bodies don't work right at that age. Yeah. So right. it's like, oh, were you like actually in the bathroom for that right. long? Or were you just out taking a stroll? 99% of the time they're out taking a stroll. Yep. Oh, are yeah. your bathrooms not like connected to your classroom? No, no. Oh. Like ours, like you have to leave our Whoa. classroom. Okay. Ours, ours, no, ours, no. Wait, our halls are like, the door in my classroom is right here and there's a little hallway. Oh, really? And then there's like two bathrooms. Oh. Oh, yeah. But they still um, will spin. Oh, Ohio, mm-hmm. take no time. I was going to say, because our, cl- our bathrooms are in our classrooms in pre-K. Yeah. They are in and, kindergarten. And you'll sit there and you'll, you know, count. You always count. You always count. I'm like, yeah. okay, I have 25 kids. Why or, you know, why is there only 24? And then you knock, knock, knock. And then you go in there and the kid's been in there for hours with a toy or they, they completely clogged the toy and they keep putting toilet paper in. And I'm just like... Why? <laughs> once it gets past that 15 minute mark, that's when yeah. you start, is everything okay? Yeah, mm-hmm. my favorite is when they're in there for a while and then they come out and you probably don't experience this, but it smells like Fruit Loops. Oh yeah, the whole vaping in the bathroom. Uh, in the bathroom. Yeah, they, they, all the time, dude. Luckily, all the time. And we'll like, I'll call security or wow. like our SRO and they can't physically right. search them. So mm-hmm. it's just like, I don't know, my poop doesn't smell like Fruit Loops, right. yeah. okay. The dare line is weeping. <laughs> <laughs> this is your brain. This is your brain on vape. <laughs> All right, so I want to hear some fail supplies that are in schools. On today's episode of Good or Garbage with Gabe, I'm going to talk about products that are good or are they garbage. Today, I want to talk about school tissues, like Kleenexes. <laughs> Are they good or are they garbage? Here's the thing. All right. Here's the thing. If I have a cold and I blow my nose, you know what I don't want to happen after I use these tissues? I don't want a rash on my face. I really don't want that. I don't want my nose to be so raw that it looks like my nose is bleeding. I don't want that. It's not going to look like it. It's going to be bleeding. It's going to be bleeding. It's going to be bleeding. I live in South Dakota. We get colds all the time because it's cold up there and I get sick all the time. The amount of times that these... Awful school Kleenexes th- th- that I, I've just got like the big, I look like Rudolph at the end of them. Are those products good or garbage? You guessed it. They're garbage. I cannot stand these dang school tissues. What are your guys' thoughts about those? Can I say something that's going to real piss you off? When you're in elementary school, mm. part of the supplies yeah. <laughs> are people bringing in clean yeah. I was gonna say I'm gonna go with it's a good because kids all bring in a box of tissues and it's usually clean but not like this, what about like the school, school supplied yeah. ones we, yeah. d- we don't have school we the don't school have them, supply them at really? that grade oh not, no at least on, on the our, midwest yeah, like, yeah on our supply list it's literally Everyone like you need to bring Kleenex. in uh quart size ziploc bags gallon size ziploc bags a bottle of hand sanitizer kleenex tissues really yes. everyone brings a box and it lasts you the year and it, like I have boxes from years ago I mean I had cupboards full of of the lotion and Kleenex. Now, you know, if I now that I'm like subbing, sometimes like I subbed at a high school a few, mm-hmm. a few months ago, horrible experience. And I remember it like pick, like it was like this. It was like it came from a doctor's office, and I'm like, yes, a tissue paper. <laughs> like, it, yeah, like, it's really rough. So at your school, when you guys are hanging out with, uh, you got triple ply toilet paper, and and you're using. <laughs> I, I didn't say the toilet paper was kids no, supplied. No, 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 they don't supply toilet paper. They supply kids. Next tissues. year, you need to bring in quilted northern. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, you guys got everything there. A little different in my school. <laughs> <laughs> a little different for me in my school. Yeah, no, I I've got uh, pretty much. I'm blowing my nose with construction paper. Wait, is that what you is that what you guys have? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I will bring same with like bringing my own toilet paper. I will bring my. All own right, we need Kleenex. tissue justice so. for the high school and middle schools. <laughs> Even Where the are they box getting them? Super thin. 
again. I, I seen the box. The same place they get the crappy toilet paper. Yeah. The same place yeah. they no get the rose art crayons. Yeah, the cra- <laughs> 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 that was good. I was going to say, because sometimes when you use like the, the tissue that are provided, it like, I, I'm like really bad. I'm with that person that's like really bad about blowing their nose. I'm just like, I'll just... I'm that guy I'm, that just I'm keeps sniffing. Same. Yeah. Because I feel like I've been traumatized as like, you know, I won't, it, you know, goes like, through. it goes through I the tissue. I won't blow my nose in front of my kids either. No. Like mm-hmm. in my in my classroom, if I have to, like I'll do that all yeah. day, I'll sniffle. But if I have to blow my nose, I will physically walk out of the room oh. and go blow my nose because I'm not going to sit there and go, in front of like <laughs> no, 10 year olds. I get, I get no shy. Like I don't want anyone to know that I'm blowing. I have to turn away from everyone do by the trash can. I don't want people to see that. Especially like if you... This sounds so gross. I'm not trying to be gross, but like you might look at it to make sure you're not sick. Yeah. You know, make yeah. sure it's not like a color it's not supposed you to check. be. You don't want the middle school, they would never let they you live ne- that down. No. Miss no. Mayor looked at our buggers. Speaking of teacher fails, have you guys ever uh listen at like your desk or something? Yeah, you sneeze in your hand and all of a sudden you got some snot. <laughs> and you gotta do like the awkward like Yes. Hold my hand or like, you know, kind of put it in your pocket oh, or rub is, it on your sock. Oh. I have never in my life we don't put it in my pocket. In what You've never I, done that? What if no. I have to reach something in my pocket, Gabe? You just don't. Like that pocket's just out of commission no. for the next hour and a half. So I'm like I, learning so many things about that? Gabe. No. Uh, Gabe, what's your, I, well, I need everyone to comment on if they've done that because Gabe. You You've never done, done that? I, I thought I, it was like a thing. Let's all, is, let's all make Gabe feel it, isolated. Listen, He's the only I, one. I already <laughs> do feel I, isolated. I have seen my husband do that, but with our children's boogers. Ooh. I've seen him pocket. like if I don't know. I, he's gonna be so mad. Literally, there's but so like, many things you witness like in elementary school then, though. Yeah. Because so, like I literally I watched a kid sit on the on my couch and like pick his no- nose and eat a booger the other day, and yeah. I was just like Oh, <laughs> the amount of times okay. I've seen a kid <laughs> reach over to a friend and so I never in my life uh. thought I'd have to say out loud. We do not pick our friend's nose you and eat it. You can pick your friend. You know what they say. You can't pick your nose. Oh my god! But you can't, can't pick, pick your friend's nose. Like, but we know you can. We've seen it. <laughs> there, uh, actually, I have. It's. It is one. Of, I remember two kids screaming at each other. I'm like, "What is going on?" Trying to do that conflict resolution. They're like, "She won't let me eat her bugger." Oh, and I'm like, "That um, is." And you can't be. A, I wanted to say that's disgusting. Yeah. And I'm like, "No, we don't eat other friends' as buggers." Yeah, that's probably a bad move. As a teacher, like you never. Mm-hmm. Thought you Never would ever say in my life. Oh yeah, I'm like I can't believe that this is a job right now. <laughs> like, we don't put that in our mouth. Lord. Right. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, it's called a uh, uh, five second. Oh, um, that's right. Like five second explanations. Okay. So what it is is there's a word on here and it has to do kind of like a uh, you know schooling and you have to <laughs> you have to try to, uh, to describe it to someone without using the words on here. Okay. So it's kind of like charades, but we're not getting up and moving. So like this one, I would say, when it's too cold to go out and play, you have to have a snow indoor recess. Day? Oh, I was like, oh. a snow okay. day? So first of all, don't embarrass me like that again. <laughs> <laughs> the viewers are shaking. <laughs> Is this a riddle? <laughs> so, we don't have so. recess in middle school. Listen, snow day rhymed. I'm just that, saying. That is true. I, that's why I, I, I was going I, I with was the rhyming rhyme. before, but I right now I don't think I have the rhyming ability. So <laughs> we'll, we'll actually... Um, I'm going to just like randomly pick though because I saw that word and I don't want to cheat. You know, that's not who I am as a person. <laughs> it is a type of thing that you Eraser. Uh, Pencil. color with. Crayon. Crayon. And it's Marker. a really Dry bad brand. Marker. Rose Art. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Rose Art crayons. <laughs> so Mike I'm going to pass it to you. Why do they still make those? I know. Like really? Do people really buy They're those? so waxy. Okay. Or not Ready? waxy enough. Yes. Rick. Blank. Morty. Ross. Rick Ross. Rick, Rick Scott. Meyer. Rick. You Rick write rolled. not a pencil? Rick rolled? <laughs> what? Um, that flare pens. Rick flare. Woo! Oh, I did not girl, get that I don't, right. I don't, I don't know Rick flare. <laughs> not a pencil. Rick flare. A I pen? I would said a oh. type of pe- a bell flare bottom. Pens. Flare pen. That's how my brain works right Who's there, Rick okay? Flair? Who's Rick Flair? Rick Flair. Woo! You don't know who yeah, Rick Flair is? Yeah, that explained it. Good you, job. That's your second time doing <laughs> Rick WWE, Flair. yo. I uh, don't watch I'm, wrestling, yo. I love yo. WWE, so I'm shocked I didn't know that. <laughs> It's, it's, a, it's, it's a South Hogan. Dakota thing. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Rick Flair's from South Dakota, he actually. Okay. Yeah. He used to be a buck. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out Bucks and Gazelles. <laughs> okay. It's a thing that we all hate, but maybe your school will like give you donuts before you Professional development. Do it. Uh, staff meeting. Um, Observation. No, and and it's really stressful in Florida, does it? Three element. times a year. Oh, testing. Yes. Ooh. No, no. I was like, donuts. Standardized testing. Ah, that was good. 
Ick. My school gives donuts. No, At least they used to. That's the only reason donuts. I would show up for standardized testing. Okay, it's the thing that you use to tell where everyone is at in the room. Uh, uh, scene chart. Yay! Oh. oh. <laughs> when you want to see if a child is absent, you have to... Do attendance. Yeah. Call. Yeah, do attendance. It's take attendance because do attendance I don't think is grammatically correct, but um, taking attendance. Sorry, I speak gooder than you. <laughs> Give me the cup. I speak a gooder. Next. Ryan started the blank. Ryan again? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Ryan started the what? Ryan, the office. Ryan started the, the fire. 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 Drill. fire drill. Fire drill. Yeah. Uh, fire drill. I said, uh, again with Ryan? You said, it, you said it so fast. I was like, huh? I didn't, I didn't get it. A fire drill. I think the best I, that, episode of The Office. It was good. Yeah. So this is the thing that like, I don't think I'm good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. It's, it's when we try to like motivate the the, the bad kids to be PBS. good. Incent yeah. oh. hey. What's it? PBS. PBIS. PBIS. The incentive system we talked about That's a billion right. times. I, I, every time you guys say PBIS, I'm like, PBS kids. Yes. PBS oh. also And then Kaya goes Pubis. in my head. Between the lines. Yeah. I loved that show. It's the thing when you have the principal comes in with the jingly keys. Observation. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Why is that like now? Like I think it's one more. Ten thousand keys. Why? I was gonna say I know there's. It's like such a funny gimmicky thing that you see on social media too. <laughs> but and people it's true. do it. And I, like someone's like, I, at one point, someone, did you take this thing from this person? But everyone's like, no. It's it's a like. It's a universal yeah, concept. 100%. It's like, so that's my how school's you know. not keys, it's walkies. Walkies. Oh, they come yeah. in and it's like, mm, mm. Every that time. Was my, Every that was my time. old. Can you go to channel two? And yes. I'm like, go to channel two. And my old here. district. And they it would be like loud as heck too. Oh, yeah. And then they'd be like, oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah. yeah. And to like crank it down. And it's terrifying <laughs> to hear because it's just like, yeah. all of a sudden I'm like, no. No. Yeah, it's always the worst news ever. And it's like, too, we might like, have a fire in the teacher's lounge. Right. Like, sorry, let me <laughs> turn that yeah. down a and little bit. And then all the kids are like, want to hear what they're yeah. talking yeah. about. Me too. I'm like, wait, keep going. Turn that, turn that back up. My favorite is when like, it's so private that they have to use your phone to call <laughs> and talk to the person. You're just sitting there like, do I keep going? And they're like, don't mind me. Keep I'm real going. nosy. And like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, we're fine. We're fine. A sinkhole where? Okay. Florida. Or a gator. Um, it's more common it would be a gator. Ooh. We've had twice. Dude, gator in the courtyard. Gator yeah. in the courtyard. <laughs> <laughs> there, you could make we it. Have. We have. No. I'm sure there has been. I'm terrified of that. Okay. Uh, it's a, it's shiny speckle stuff. Glitter. That sequence. Okay. And then to make it stick, it is. Glue. Glitter yes. glue. Glitter glue. People make. Mistakes. Money. Money. Cash. Not jelly, but. Jam. Jam. What? Paper jam. Paper jam. Paper jam. jam. Yeah. Okay. People make. You could have just said, "What but, is this?" But wait, pe I'm. <laughs> People make. You make that paper, yo. Make that See, bread. My, my problem with your clues is that you give a half of a statement and it doesn't make sense. It, it could, does it make could, sense. No, but it could apply to so many things. It makes but, sense to you. I you People about make. Money. <laughs> like, but did anyone teachers. say paper? <laughs> People make. I could be like craft. We're, we're cash. He's like okay, but not jelly. But we're ja cash jam. Like, <laughs> People make money bad jam. choices. <laughs> See. Yeah, I'll be here. It works. Okay, it works. You maybe you guys just gotta. <laughs> yeah, but scary place. Gabe, you gotta make your inside thoughts your outside thoughts. Yeah, I am making my space. inside my outside, and you guys are making fun of me for it. I just keep hey, my inside no, this thoughts is a on the safe inside. Yes, place. Safe. It most definitely is not. We can't for me. We, listen, we can't guarantee a safe place, but we can guarantee a, a space. Brave, <laughs> I was gonna say a brave place. <laughs> <laughs> you just said a space. <laughs> yeah. We can guarantee. A space. We can yeah. give you a room. <laughs> be safe. I don't know if it's a space. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. The thing that our students absolutely refuse to eat, it doesn't matter how hungry they are, they will not eat this. Carrots. Veggies? <laughs> like, they will go hungry. Milk. They will Pizza. beg you no. for food because Everything in pre -K. they will not eat this. Whop whoppers. Broccoli. Eat? Some teachers won't even eat it. Wait, do, is it something we give to them? It's we? something in the school. In the school that they Why did I say school? I said school. Weird. Like a school lunch? Yes. Ooh, no. Well, that's it. Ca cafeteria food. Oh. <laughs> oh, I came up with school that even now. Like, I, I will okay. not eat. School I was lunches. trying to make it something specific. No, they will. Well, your kids eat school lunches. Is this Mine, just a Florida listen. thing? I mean, they have to. So. <laughs> and you've never had a crispito. No. I, <laughs> my, what? My a crispito. I've had a crispito. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I only like the Bosco sticks. Crispito. Bosco sticks. <gasps> yeah. Green wait, jerky wait, day. Cheese or just just oh, cheese or yeah. pepperoni too. All right, okay. last one. Crispito. Okay, it's the thing I never turn in on time. Attendance. Uh, lesson plans. Yes! <laughs> uh, I mean, like, this could really hurt your feelings. Let's pause for a second. Like, 
<laughs> That's the perfect way to end an episode because I'm pretty sure we've all failed at lesson plans oh, yeah. dramatically. We, we don't, oh we don't God, turn in lesson so plans, funny. but that's a whole other story. Plans. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to all of our fails. We want to hear your fails down below. Make sure you guys comment and tell us. Let us know on our YouTube video. If you're watching the podcast, make sure you leave a review and tell us your fails in that too. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys. Woo!